Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on factoring a quadratic. The difficulty part is the quadratic equation here does not have coefficient of 1 and makes it a little more complicated. What I want to help you with on this clip is this method called a triple play method, T-H-O-D. And if you go on to my channel, it's Tucson Math Doc channel. There are a couple more worked out example on factoring quadratics where the coefficient is not one. Let's get started. First of all, let's take this nasty negative sign out. I live in Arizona and negative sign always reminds me of cactus needles. All right. Now what we're going to do is inside, I'm going to factor the coefficient is still not 1 over here. I'm going to factor this quadratic equation by tricking the system that I'm going to multiply those two in here. I always draw a box here to remind myself that this is my fake dreamy world. Okay, So you don't just factor it and stay in there, but you do have to come up. So what I'm going to factor in there is this one, plus 60. And this one is a lot easier to factor because now the coefficient one is 1. So I have x plus 15 and x plus 4. Okay, that multiply here gets me 60, adding together give me 19. So, so far everything looks good. Now when I come out the dreamy world, I need to do some manipulating basically. I'm going to put a 6x where the x used to be. Okay, this is my fake x here. I'm going to put a 6x back in and then still add a 15. Now some of the more attuned students probably will point it out right away. Hold on a second. 6x times 6x is 6x. It's 36x squared. That does not equal to 6x squared because we started with a 6x squared. So what I need to do here then is divide by 6. Now as you might realize right away, neither one of them has a 6 in there completely. I can cancel 6 on this one, but I can't have 4 canceled completely out. Same thing here with the 15. So the problem then is how do we trick the system one more time? It turned out 6 is 2 times 3. Okay, So I just factored the 6 and 3 out into 2 and 3. Now this part has a 2. This part has a 3 in common. So I'm taking care of. Let's take the 3 out for the first one. I have 2x plus 5 over here. And then let's take 2 out for the second one. I have 3x plus 2 here. Okay, now divided 2 times 3, I'm almost home free. 2 goes away, 3 goes away. And the answer is minus 2x plus 5, 3x plus 2. Okay, that's my final answer. Now, as always, as a mathematician or a math student, whichever one you want to call yourself, it's always really good ideas. Double check your work. So let's check our work here, especially on a test. There's nothing more annoying than getting a test back thinking you did really well, but then you get surprised with a low score. So let's just double check our work. I have a 6x squared with a term on top, and then I have a 4x here, and then I have a 15x here and a plus 10. So I have 6x squared plus 19x plus 10. Okay. Now since I have a minus sign in the front, plus 19x plus 10, I should have everything back where I started, which is minus 6x squared minus 19x minus 10. And what do you know? I got exactly everything back, just the way it's supposed to be. Math hopefully doesn't throw too many curved balls at you. All right, that's how we handle factoring the quadratics where the coefficient is not a 1. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.